Welcome to Vicor, a leader in high performance power conversion products for over 25 years. Please take a few minutes and join us for a tour of our operations from the initial design phase all the way through to mass production. Vicor utilizes state of the art EDA design tools. This moves products from concept to mass production in the shortest possible time. Our design tools improve communications between the electrical engineer PCB designer and the mechanical engineer, which shortens the design process and reduces the risk of errors. Data is sent to the PCB designer where the electrical conversion process begins, and layer by layer, the PCB designer makes the required connections for the end product. One of the last stages in the process is the mechanical approval, where the designer can view the completed board in a three-dimensional solid model format. Standard Vicor power components can be transferred into the next level assemblies simply by adding certain approved components from our central database and then qualifying the end product using our new product introduction process. Every new or modified product goes through a formal design review process which includes both a preliminary and critical design review. Cross-functional teams participate in these sessions to ensure a thorough review of each design. Action items from these reviews are documented and maintained in the project file. Vicor Applications Engineering has been providing technical support for the better part of 25 years. We're located in major cities across the United States, Europe, and Asia. We have an extensive application team that has a great knowledge base in providing power solutions, both simple and complex. The application labs that the apps engineers are located in are fully equipped, providing hands-on type support. We're available by email and by phone. We look forward to working with you on your next power design. What you're about to view is Vicor's newest SMD assembly line. We use SIM, our computer integrated manufacturing, to download all the information to our high-speed pick-and-place equipment to manufacture our main PCB boards that go into Vicor's modules. The first step in this process is the screen printing process where the pallets enter this machine and the machine screen prints on the solder paste onto the PC board assemblies and then it exits this machine into the next process. The next step in the process is to apply glue dots onto the PC board for some of our larger power components that get mounted on this side of the PCB assembly. The next step in the process after the glue dot dispense is pick and place of numerous SMD components using our high speed pick and place equipment. The equipment has automated vision and automated tool pickup to place various types of components onto Vipor's PCBs. After the operator performs a visual inspection, the pallet enters the reflow oven. The reflow oven's profile is downloaded from the SIM manufacturing system. Each major work center has a monitor that displays the work center dashboard. These dashboards have all the key information that the work center needs to tell if it's succeeding during the day. Vicor invested in these high-speed machining centers so that we can build high volumes of machine base plates and have a higher quality level and process control. This is our module merge process where we merge the main PCB terminal block to the base plate. The product goes through two automated dispensing machines. The first machine dispenses glue around the perimeter of the base plate. The second machine dispenses a thermally conductive material onto the base plate. At the end of that process, the terminal block and the base plate are merged together and sent into an oven for curing. This is our spin fill process where we put the modules on our spin fill carts. The carts spin the module at a high rate of speed where we dispense material into the module and totally encapsulate the entire inside of the module. This is our final test operation, which we final test our modules to ensure their quality. Uh, the operator will scan the module under the scanner. The tester will retrieve the, the specs from the database and test the modules per that spec under various temperatures. 
Once the module has completed its test, the test screen indicates the temperature that the module was tested at, the pass-fail condition of the module, which indicates to the operator what they need to do to continue on, and the test report, which is now sent to our database, which is available on our website for every serial number tested. This is the last step of the process where the module goes through the labeling and gatekeeper process. The operator will scan the module. The gatekeeper software will verify that all the tests have been completed and passed before it will dispense a label. The operator will then put the label onto the module and then send it off to the packing operation. We are now in Vicor's environmental stress screening area where in these chambers we electronically stress I, H, and M grade modules. This is Vicor's temp cycle chamber where we mechanically stress our modules from 100 degrees to minus 65 degrees. In addition to our automated flexible volume manufacturing of power components, Vicor has the capability to produce next level assemblies as well as full custom power supplies. Vicor's innovative power components are used as the building blocks for power systems. These field proven components allow users to rapidly configure unique power systems utilizing our online design tools. This saves valuable engineering time for users as well as mitigating risk, reducing cost, and shortening lead time. For those users who prefer a turnkey power system to meet specific specifications, Vicor Custom Power offers a variety of capabilities including electrical and mechanical design, rapid prototyping to high volume manufacturing, reliability and certification testing, including the most demanding military standards. Vicor has been producing custom power systems for over 15 years to a broad variety of markets. We are a key supplier to the aerospace and defense industry and over the years have designed and manufactured innovative power systems for mission critical DX rated government programs on time, on budget, and with the highest level of quality. At Vicor, quality and continuous improvement form an integral part of the business model. We are ISO 9001 certified and have been since 1993. We rely heavily on the use of metrics and the plan, do, check, act model to continuously improve our business. This is Vicor's HALT chamber. HALT stands for Highly Accelerated Life Testing. The purpose of this test is to subject the product to a combination of environments including temperature, vibration, as well as different electrical loads. You push the product to its destruct point so that you understand the weakest point within the design. You correct that weak point and continuously improve your product. This test is HTOL. HTOL stands for High Temp Operating Life. It's a 1,000 hour life test that we do. We subject the product to full bias, full base plate temperature. The purpose of this test is to do a duration to ensure that the product will be reliable for many years in the field. It's part of our ongoing reliability as well as our new product qualification process that all products must pass. This is one of Vicor's numerous THB chambers. THB stands for Temperature Humidity Bias. It's 85 degrees C, 85% humidity, 100% bias. It's a test that we run for 1,000 hours on products both for ongoing reliability as well as new product qualification. Products must pass this test before it gets released to market. Vicor's SEM, scanning electron microscope, allows us to visually observe specimens at very high magnification with upper limits of 300,000 X, as well as elementally analyze the sample composition. Vicor uses this SEM mostly in the evaluation of solder joints, thin coatings, and other metallic structures. Our analytical lab also has a number of thermal analysis instruments, including TGA, thermogravimetric analyzer, DSC, differential scanning calorimeter, and TMA, thermomechanical analyzer, used to evaluate as received materials to ensure compliance to specification. These also allow Vicor to determine moisture and filler content, degree of cure of thermoset epoxies, glass transition temperatures, and the coefficient of thermal expansion. Vicor's analytical laboratory has extensive capability, both destructive as well as non-destructive, to test our raw materials, components, and finished products to ensure that the quality and reliability is always there from the time we receive raw materials to the time we ship product out the door to our customers. 
Thank you for taking the tour of our world-class operations, and I hope you found it informative. At Vicor, power is what we do, and we are committed to continuous improvement. Our over 8,000 customers worldwide expect nothing less. We look forward to working with you on your next power design projects.